When you're busy managing day-to-day -day operations, you need to find ways to work smarter, not harder. Aspire's robust scheduling capabilities, like intuitive time-based scheduling and absentee notifications, help take the work out of workforce management. Let's first look at time-based scheduling, a flexible capability that allows you to schedule work based on a customer's specific needs. You can enable this feature for each branch at the bottom of the branch settings page. Ensure the time zone is set correctly. Then, from the schedule board, configure the working hours for each route by simply entering the start and end times for each day. You can add multiple shifts per day, and overnight shifts can be set to end at 11.59 p.m. and resume at 12 a.m. the following day. On the schedule board, you'll see plaques or tiles indicating the available working hours, and the time zone will display below the individuals assigned to the route. To schedule a visit, simply drag and drop a work ticket on the appropriate tile and confirm the visit start and end times. Aspire automatically enters the time based on the team or crew size and estimated hours for the job, but you can change it if you need to. You'll see the total man hours if the schedule is set to man hours. If it's set to crew hours, you'll see the entire duration of the visit based on the number of employees assigned to the job. Time-based visits can be moved around to other days or routes, moved in bulk, and extended to multiple days. If a visit overlaps from one day to the next, for example, for overnight shifts, you'll see a link icon to indicate a visit is linked to a previous day. You can remove a visit by clicking the X on the original visit. The time-based schedule also displays on the mobile app so your techs or crews in the field know when a job should begin and end. Next, if you're using time-based scheduling, you can also create absentee notifications to receive automated text messages if a tech or crew does not start a job on time. Here's how it works. First, create a new SMS notification. Then, select absentee notifications as the type give it a name, and assign it to a branch and route with time-based scheduling enabled. Select at least one recipient based on title, and you can add additional recipients if needed. For recipients to receive the notifications, their mobile number must be entered and the opt-in checkbox selected in their contact record. They'll receive an initial notification to opt-in. Next, you can choose a grace period or the time frame in which a tech or crew must clock into a job. If the designated threshold passes without a clock in recorded, a notification will be triggered. Lastly, enter the message details. Now, if a job is not started within the selected grace period, the assigned recipients will receive a text message, allowing them to quickly schedule another tech or crew to ensure the work is performed. Notifications can be tracked via the notification log or within a tech or crew leader's contact record. As you can see, Aspire's time-based scheduling and absentee notifications eliminate much of the work that comes with managing a workforce. Thanks for using Aspire.